Hey everyone, how's it going? So I only do this on a rare basis whenever there's something that I think is really cool in the item shop. And I've got to say that before this, I would have told you that I kind of had enough with all the peely and fish stick variations out there. But this, you guys, actually looks pretty damn cool to me. So I did just want to do a really quick video on it to show you what, what all it comes with. If maybe you haven't purchased it yet, but you're considering purchasing it, I'm hoping that this might be helpful. So now, truth be told, I've known this Agent Fish Stick character was probably going to come out at some point because it's been leaked for a while. But what I didn't know for sure was that it's going to come with challenges and for only $9.99 at the risk of sounding like a commercial for it. So we all know how Fortnite loves their puns and keeping in accordance to that, I guess they're calling this the Assassin Challenge Pack and the character is Contract Killer. So for $9.99 straight up, like no V-Bucks, you get Contract Killer, who's basically fish dick looking badass in a suit. He has one alternate style, so you can see him in glasses or no glasses, which both look kind of hilarious. Then you get this really adorable back bling, which is called Dorsal Destroyer, but looks like a baby fish stick that's like a mini assassin of some type. And I'll be honest, even being dead broke, I probably would have put the 10 bucks down for this back bling alone. That's just me. I really love the back bling. And then finally, he also comes with a set of challenges that if you finish them all up, you get a thousand V-Bucks for doing that. So essentially, do the challenges and it's like, it's all paid for itself pretty much. So at any rate, the thing that sucks about all challenge packs in general that they put up for sale is that you can't see the challenges before you buy them. And this sucks obviously because it can affect your decision on whether or not you want to buy any given challenge pack. So if anybody out there would like to know what the challenges are, well, if I go over to the challenge table as usual and I click on it to go in, basically I have to just keep navigating in one direction until I reach this list that's labeled just contract killer. These are all of his new assignments and for each one you can see what you have to do plus the number of V-Bucks you get for completing each one. So for me actually this isn't bad at all. I usually ignore daily assignments even though they're super easy because there's just not that much incentive in it for me. And all the agent killer challenges have to do with finishing daily assignments as you can see. Now I'm not going to read every single one of them for you but for example, at the top, you can see that if I complete one daily assignment, I get 100 V-Bucks for that. Then once I've managed to complete seven daily assignments, that's 400 V-Bucks. And of course, um, you got your other challenges in between. So for anyone hoping to earn 1,000 V-Bucks with these challenges overnight, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do that. That's of course because you only get three daily assignments per day. And just real quick, here's where you can go to check those out and also switch out a particular assignment if you don't like it. As you can see on my particular daily assignment board, everybody else's will probably look different depending on how much you've done. But basically I've got one of my dailies completed and the other two are relatively simple like I thought. The first one says search chests or ammo boxes at the yacht and I got to do that five times apparently. Um, the second one says search Chester ammo boxes at Misty Meadows. I gotta do that seven times. So, pretty easy stuff. And in addition, as you can see, if there's, say, like some daily challenge that comes up that just sucks to do, you do have the option of switching it out with a different surprise challenge. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that you can only switch out one challenge per 24 hours. That's if it's like it's been in previous seasons or at least something like that. So at any rate, that pretty much concludes this video and all I wanted to show you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a great week. See you later.